स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स टॉपिक सप्रैक्शन बाय बोरोविंग पार्ट टू सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट सप्रैक्शन बाय अनटाइंग अ टेन एंड सप्रैक्शन बाय अनटाइंग अ हंड्रेड सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन लास्ट वीडियो सो योर सम इज 51 minus 24. So you are going to subtract 24 from this 51. So as you can see in the units place, four units cannot be subtracted from one unit. So we are going to untie one ten. That is, we are going to borrow one from tens place. So it will be four in tens place. Students, one ten is equal to ten units. So already we are having one unit and the ten units which we borrowed, so it will be eleven units. So eleven minus four. What is the answer, students? Very good, seven. And in tens place, four minus two. What is the answer, students? Very good, two is the answer. So two tens and seven units. That is. Twenty-seven. So our next sum is nine hundred minus three hundred and sixty-five. So students, as you can see in the units place, five units cannot be subtracted from zero units. So now we have to untie one ten. But as you can see, there is zero in tens place. So we are going to untie one hundred. So that is nine in hundreds place. If we take one, it will remain eight. Students, one hundred is equal to ten tens. So it will be ten tens. Now we have to give one the units place. So one ten is equal to ten units. So in tens place it will remain nine. Any units place it will come ten. So ten minus five. What is the answer? Very good. Five is the answer. In tens place, nine minus six. What is the answer? Very good. Three is the answer. And in eight, ten hundreds place, eight minus three. What is the answer? Five. Very good. Today we are going to learn about word problems and addition and subtraction. Next is word problems. There are one hundred and seventy-five trees in Maharaj Park and two hundred and sixty-eight in Shivaji Park. How many more trees are there in Shivaji Park? Then there are in Maharaj Park. So students, now we have to find out how many more trees are there in Shivaji Park. So we have to subtract one seventy five from two hundred and sixty eight. Two hundred and sixty eight are the trees in Shivaji Park, and one hundred and seventy five are the trees in Maharaj Park. So. Eight minus five. What is the answer? Three. Very good. Now in tens place, seven tens. You have to subtract seven tens from six tens. So what are we going to do? We are going to untie one hundred. That is, we are going to borrow from hundreds place. So in hundreds place, it will be one. Now. Students always remember one hundred means ten tens. So already we are having six tens and plus now we have borrowed ten tens. So it will be sixteen tens. So sixteen tens minus seven tens. It is nine tens. And one minus one. Is zero. So 
more trees are 93. So Shivashi Park has 93 more trees. Second sum is, there were some books in a bookshop. The shopkeeper brought 125 more. Now, there are 234 books in a shop. How many were there in beginning? So students, now we have to find out how many books were there in the beginning in the shop. So we have to subtract 125 from 234. So 5 units cannot be subtracted from 4 units. So we have to untie 110. That is we have to borrow 1 from the tens place. So in tens place will remain 2. So 110 is equal to, yes, 10 units. So already we are having 4 units plus 10 units. So it will be 14 units. So 14 minus 5. 9. In tens place, 2 minus 2. The answer is 0. And in hundreds place, 2 minus 1. The answer is 1. So, 100, 0 tens and 9 units. So, the answer is 109. The shopkeeper had 109 books in the beginning. Using the given information, make a word problem of your own and solve them. Now students, this is the information given to you all and you have to make a word problem of your own and you have to solve. So the information is bits with Aman 325, bits with Sulba 150. And the problem is Aman has 325 bits and Sulba has 150. How many more bits should Sulba take so that they will have an equal number of bits? So now we have to subtract 150 from 325. So 5 units minus 0 units. So answer is 5. In tens place, 5 tens cannot be subtracted from 2 tens. So we have to untie 100. So, in hundreds place, it will become 2. So, 100 is equal to, very good, 10 tens. So, already we are having 2 tens and now more 10 tens. So, it will become 12 tens. So, 12 tens minus 5 tens. So the answer is 7 tens and 2 minus 1. So, 100. So, 107 tenths and 5 units. So, the answer is 175. Sulba should take 175 beats. So, the next sum is 168 rupees and 622 rupees. So we have to make a word problem out of it. Ram had 622 rupees. He gave 168 rupees to Rahul. How many rupees does Ram have now? So we have to find out that how many rupees Ram is left with. 
so we will subtract 168 from 622 So, we cannot subtract 8 units from 2 units. So, what are we going to do? We are going to untie 1 10. That is, we are going to borrow 1 from 10s. So, in 10s place, 1 will come and 1 10 is equal to 10 units. So, already we are having 2 units plus more 10 units. That is, 12 units. So 12 minus 8 is 4. Now in 10's place, we cannot subtract 6 from 1. So we have to untie 100. That is, we have to borrow 1 from 100. So we'll cancel 6 and write 5. Now already we have 110. Students, 100 is equal to 10 tens. So, 10 tens plus 1 ten is equal to 11 tens. So, 11 tens minus 6 tens. The answer is 5 tens. In hundreds place, 5 minus 1. The answer is 4. So, we got the answer 400, 5 tens and 4 units that is 454. Gram has 454 rupees left. Next is addition and subtraction. Solve the following problems orally. So here we don't have to make place values or arrange them in their place values. The first one is if Malti has 15 blue and 7 red balloons, how many balloons does she have altogether? So these are the 15 blue balloons and 7 red balloons. So let's count 15 are the blue 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. So the answer is 22. Students, here we have done addition. That is 15 plus 7. The answer is 22. The second one is 100 children took part in a tree planting drive. If 60 of them were girls, how many boys participated? So, here are some strings of tens. So, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, students, as these are tens, if we minus or cut 6 of them, that is 60. So, let's cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, how many strings are remaining with us? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, what is the answer? Students, keep in mind that these are the tens. Okay. So, there are 40 bits. All together. So the answer is 40. Using the given information, make word problems of your own and solve them. So the information they have given us is Tony has 75 books. Sonu has 40 books. Nandu has 80 books. So now we have to make word problems of our own and solve them. So here I have made four word problems. How many books 
do Tony and Sonu have together? Second is how many more books does Tony have than Sonu? Third is how many more books does Nandu have than Tony? And fourth one, how many books should Sonu buy so that Tony and Sonu have an equal number of books? So now let's solve one by one. The first one is how many books do Tony and Sonu have together? Students always remember when get the word comes, we have to always do addition. So Tony has 75 books and Sonu has 40 books. So now we are going to add 5 units plus 0 units. The answer is 5. Now in tens place, 7 tens plus 4 tens. What is the answer? Right. 11 is the answer. But students, we cannot write two digits in one column. So now we are going to add one more column that is hundreds column. Here we are going to put zero. And we are going to do carry over. So we'll carry over one year in the hundreds place. And now we are going to add. So, 1 plus 0 plus 0, the answer is 1. So, it is 100, 1 tens and 5 units, 115. Tony and Sonu have 115 books together. Second one is, how many more books does Tony have than Sonu? Now, Tony is having 75 books and Sonu is having 40 books. Now, we are going to do subtraction. So 5 minus 0, the answer is 5. And 7 minus 4, what is the answer? Three. Very good. So, Tony have 35 more books than Sonu. Third one is, how many more books does Nandu have than Tony? So, Nandu has 80 books. And Tony has 75 books. So, 0 minus 5. That is, we are going to subtract 5 units from 0 units. Now, we cannot subtract 5 units from 0 units. So, now what are we going to do? Yes, very good. We are going to untie 110. That is, we are going to borrow from the tens place. So, here we will cancel 8 and we will write... 7. Students, 110 is equal to 10 units. So, here we have 0 units. So, we'll directly write 10 units. So, 10 units minus 5 units. So, the answer is 5 units. And in tens place, 7 minus 7. That is 7 tens minus 7 tens. The answer is 0 tens. So, Nandu have 5 more books than Tony. Fourth one is, how many books should Sonu buy so that Tony and Sonu can have an equal number of books? So, Tony has 75 books and Sonu have 40 books. So again, we are going to do subtraction. So 5 units minus 0 units, the answer is 5. 
and 7 tenths minus 4 tenths, the answer is 3 tenths. So, 35 is the answer. So, no should buy 35 more books. Today we have learned word problem. In word problem, we have learned word problems and using the given information, make word problems of your own and solve them. And next is addition and subtraction. In that we have learned solve the following problem orally and using the given information, make word problems of your own and solve them. So students, your assignment is word problem. First is, there are 315 girls and 215 boys in a school. How many more girls are there than boys? Second is, using the given information, make word problems of your own and solve them. The information is given below. First one is, 195 black bicycles and 100 red bicycles. Second is 257 bits and 300 bits. So this is the information given to you all and you have to make word problem. Next is solve the following problem orally. There are altogether 80 rows and jasmine flowers in the basket. 30 of them are roses. How many jasmine flowers are there in the basket? So students remember you are not going to make columns here and you are not going to make the place, arrange them in the place values. You are going to solve them orally. Next is using the given information, make word problems of your own and solve them. This is the information given, 150 red marbles, 220 blue marbles and 75 green marbles. You are going to make word problem out of this and solve them. Students, I hope you have understood the lesson, subtraction by borrowing. Thank you.